What's up, Harnoor? Hi, Arubhav. Uh-huh. How are you? Doing well, yaar. Good to see you. Good to see you too. So happy to see you finally. Is it weird that I'm more nervous for this chat than I was uh, when I was talking to Pat Cummins? It is weird. I'm just a common man. I mean, uh, he's like a celebrity with like, you know, worldwide following. I just have only small niche in India. But one thing, one thing, one thing. YouTube, mein, I think you are the bigger celebrity. He has 180,000 subscribers. A mere 180,000 subscribers. Singh in US has 600,000 subscribers. So I think you're the bigger celebrity, which is why I'm probably more nervous talking to you than I was uh, talking to Pat oh. Cummins. <laughs> बट ब्रो लुक टू बी कम्पलीटली ऑनस्ट यू नो हम लोग ऑफ एयर भी बात करे थे अभी थोड़ी थोड़ी देर पहले बिग बिग फैन ऑफ योर कॉन्टेंट आई थिंक वन ऑफ द रीजन वाई फॉर मी पर्सनली फॉर मी पर्सनली योर कॉन्टेंट इज सो रिलेटेबल इज बिकॉज it's uh, you you show a lot of the environment the territory that you know i i was a part of during the seven years that i spent in america or during the first four and a half years out of the seven years that i spent in america in atlanta georgia tech campus and so uh, whenever i see like the the beautiful nature of the content that you actually put out you know it's a it's a beautiful walk down memory lane for me speaking speaking of your content the one thing that i've been noticing recently compared to you know the videos that you were putting out maybe a couple of years back or even even as recently as one year back bro you are looking ripped you are looking ripped so tell me about uh, the 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 whole fitness scene how did you get into it uh, how seriously are you taking it right now because it's a sea change dude mai ek recently aapka vlog dekha tha i think this was georgia tech uh, ke gym mein you were working out or this was some 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 vlog you had done where you were also talking about my protein which of course is like a brand that you've started endorsing recently and i was like wait a minute this is like a massive trans <laughs> formation that i'm seeing so, so walk me through it <laughs> sure so uh, like in my first year i did not work out at all but uh, i had my roommate from japan and he was like you know into martial arts karate and we had free classes in our campus and i started going with him and that was from first semester but only like once in a month 4:30 pm wednesday like once in a month one hour <laughs> and then later on one year later i thought like i should bring a change and i started working out after uh watching few motivational videos like amir khan from dangal <laughs> you say rithik roshan i just got inspired but those uh those workout routine was not regular like you know aapko pata hai college mein kya hota hai next day assignment due bus us din sirf pizza dikhta hai aur kuch nahi dikhta like you know they give you free food all over the campus hamare finals week mein like you get free food lot of times so bas khana peena aur exam ki taiyari karna that's all the routine and by after that i i realized that ki wo energy nahi dikh rahi i have become weaker as compared to when i was in india because aapko bus mein bhag bhag ke pakadni padti hai like aapko you need to be an active so mujhe mujhe laga ki ha meri body change ho rahi hai in a negative way and then i realized ki ha mujhe gym jana chahiye thoda regular par main bahut basic calisthenics karta tha ki 5 10 minute workout karke wapas apna apna kaam karna hai and wo 5 10 minute regular raha for the next 3 years par meri body transform nahi hui so that was just लाइक यू नो कि मेरी बॉडी रेडी होगी कि हाँ एक दिन आएगा मैं अपने आप को प्रोग्रेसिव ओवरलोड दूंगा जिससे थोड़ी बॉडी डेवलप होगी वो अब आया व्हेन आई जस्ट मूव टू जॉर्ज टेक कैंपस एंड आई लाइक स्टार्टेड माय फुल टाइम जॉब तब थोड़ा नाइन टू फाइव कल्चर हो गया फाइव पी के बाद यू नो यूर रिलैक्स फिर उसके बाद आई स्टार्ट टू गिव माई सेल्फ प्रोग्रेस ओवरलोड प्रोग्रेसिव ओवरलोड एंड मुझे फ्रेंड मिल गया जो जिम रोज जाता है तो वो रोज का लाइक यू नो रूटीन बन गया एंड साथ में एक दूसरे की नॉलेज शेयर कर पाए पहले तो सिर्फ मैं था राइट right? मेरा कोई कंपेटिटर नहीं था अब लाइव आई हैव अ कंपेटिटर इन जिम सो उससे बहुत मोटिवेशन मिली एंड अकाउंटेबिलिटी फैक्टर मिल जाता है लाइक यू नो इफ आई एम लाइक चीटिंग लाइक ईडिंग मोर चीट मिल देन देन आई बी लाइक ओ माई गॉड आई एम लैकिंग बिहाइंड तो ये चीज हुई एंड अदर मोस्ट इम्पोर्टेंट फैक्टर दैट हैपेंड वॉज मैंने कीटो डाइट शुरू कर दी आई कट डाउन द काब्स तो ऐसा नहीं है कि मैं ट्वेंटी ग्राम से कम काब्स रोज लेता हूँ बट इट्स ऑल्सो दैट की कीटो में कहते हैं कि ट्वेंटी ग्राम कम काब्स ना लो बट आई ट्राई टू की माई सेल्फ लो काब्स डाइट अगर लेग डे हो तो ज्यादा तो ऐसे मैंने पूरा मेनटेन किया कोई मेरा गुरु नहीं है आई जस्ट वॉच सम यूट्यूब वीडियोज की क्या क्या डाइट लेना चाहिए एंड इससे तीन चार महीने बाद मैंने रियलाइज किया ओ ऐसा भी होता है तो <laughs> <laughs> I I I have never checked my weight every day. I have, uh, calorie count bhi kam ki hai. but just keto se easy ho so, Harnoor, the the million dollar follow up question for you is abhi eight pack abs hai, ki ten pack abs hai, ki twelve pack 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 abs abs 10 14 you know these are rookie numbers much beyond 14 also. 
I think you can see six pack from the side, but front side पे थोड़ा बहुत fat है. It's like twelve percent body fat, तो इतना clear नहीं दिखते. But yes, you can see six packs. <laughs> Solid, bro. You know, said in a very humble way, you can see six packs. You know, very very casual. But bro, you know, speaking of accountability, Har Harnoor, you know, I might ask you at the end of this podcast that from now you have to hold me accountable because recently, you know, Calcutta has been under lockdown, and uh, to be completely honest. मतलब कैलकाटा बाहर मूव नहीं कर रहे तो मैं भी घर में मूव नहीं कर रहा हूँ आई एम बेली डूंग एनी एक्सरसाइज कभी कभी कर रहा हूँ बट आई एम ईटिंग अ लॉट ऑफ जंक ऑल्सो तो 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 यू नो वेन 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 इट्स नॉट लॉकडाउन वन यू एक्टिव वन यू कैन वेंचर आउट वन यू कैन मीट योर फ्रेंड्स वन यू इंजॉइंग लाइक लाइफ आउटसाइड ऑफ यू नो द फो वॉल्स इन विच यू लिव कभी कभी थोड़ी अकाउंटेबिलिटी होती है अरे अच्छा लगना है यू नो बाहर निकल रहा दिस दैट बट सिंस सिंस द टाइम यू नो आई बीन कन्फाइन टू माय होम आई हैव सॉर्ट ऑफ फॉल इन ऑफ द वैगन सो मे बी यू नो लुकिंग एट योर एग्जांपल आई माइट जस्ट ड्रॉ सम इंस्पिरेशन एंड नाउ होपफुली गेट बैक ऑन ट्रैक Oh, I, I'm I'm surprised, like hearing from you, because your body actually looks much more impressive than me. You're actually like shredded with lower body body fat portion. I think it's close to ten, right? Up close to ten, huh? Eleven, twelve, bol sakte ho, huh? Wow, haan. very humble. <laughs> but but recently, recently, thoda thoda form, thoda sa dip hua hai. But you know, I I will get back on track. I'm confident about that. Very confident oh. about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Tell me, tell me something. So how much how much of your your transformation or your your uh, increase in your seriousness when it came to fitness was uh, you know triggered by maybe your your girlfriend did the fitness journey start before the girlfriend after the girlfriend is she a factor i think girlfriend is definitely a factor okay. so you know i was looking for love guru kind of advice in a lot of places <laughs> like girlfriend kyun nahi banti hai so the the three things that i found out at that time was 366 uh 366 ke bare mein aapne suna hi hoga shayad Man, I don't think know. so. I don't think so. Tell us. Tell me. Oh, यहाँ पे जितने मैंने love gurus देखे थे said six pack abs, six figure salary, and six feet height. मेरे पास तीनों नहीं थे. तो मैंने कहा जो एक हाथ में हो तो पकड़ लो. Yeah. So you know, like I cannot control how tall I am, how how I look, but I can control how fit I am. So I just focused on that. That's a good <laughs> one, bro. I'm I'm definitely adding that to my repertoire. You know the three sixes that you spoke about. Next time, कोई भी मेरे से advice लेने आएंगे मैं ये three sixes का ज्ञान दे दूँगा. Seriously, it's it's a good it's a good way to actually uh, explain uh, explain this. Or or एक चीज़ बोलो. So speaking speaking of your fitness, देखो अब तो अब तो girlfriend बन गई है, है ना? तो आप क्या सीरियस नहीं यार सीरियस नहीं से यार नाउ तो यू कैन रिलैक्स हिट बैक आराम से यार सिक्स पैक्स को सिक्स पैक फ्लैप्स बना दो गर्लफ्रेंड बन गई शी इज इन द बैग ऑलरेडी या बट आई मीन नाउ आई थिंक इट्स अ लाइफस्टाइल पहले सोचा था कि हां लाइक लाइक आई थिंक सेम गोस टू यू इफ यू वांट टू यू नो लाइक मेंटेन सिक्स पैक एप्स दैट इज आल्सो वेरी चैलेंजिंग आपको ट्रैक रखना पड़ता है लाइक आई लव लाइक आई एम करेंटली ईटिंग एट माय मेंटेनेंस कैलोरीज एवरीडे दैट कीप मी मेंटेन राइट Hundred yeah. percent, dude. I'm, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. You know, if you, if you yeah. haven't noticed, I, I tend to be very sarcastic. I think you may have, yes. You know, you, you may have been able to tell through a lot of the videos that you may have watched. Uh, but yeah, please, please, you know, uh, think twice before taking me at face value. Before taking me too seriously. Oh. I, I love, oh, I love the, the sarcasm. Look, uh, Harnoor Singh, right? But people know you as, uh, people more popularly or commonly known you, uh, know you as a uh, Singh in USA. I think this was three years back, uh, approximately three years back when you started your, your Singh in USA journey. So tell me about the the genesis of Singh in USA. Firstly, firstly, you know I have to tell you that the name is very, very, very captivating. So I'm not sure if you picked the name or someone else picked the name, but whoever picked the name, ten on ten, you know, not ten on ten, twelve out of ten. I'll give you a couple of bonus points as well because I seriously, seriously, it's the name that actually draws a lot of people. And I think I was thinking about it. You know, psychologically, I was thinking about it. What is it about Singh in USA that's so special? And I think one of the the key components, and you may already know this, is the fact that. Uh, The sing is there, you know. A Jan in USA would have been so dull, drab, boring, and stodgy compared to sing in USA. But but hats off to you. You know, I think you got lucky. You were born as a sing, but uh, I think you made your luck as well, given the fact that you know you you made full utility or utilization of the sing to create such a captivating name, such as sing in USA. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, it just some, somehow happened. I was also inspired by Bharat in Germany. So okay, yeah. okay. Yeah. So 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 <laughs> tell happened. me tell me about like how it started. What prompted you to you know create uh create these videos? Because I think you weren't doing vlogging when you first started out, right? You were you were just talking about your experience as an Indian student, as an international student who's studying uh in the USA. But slowly but surely you transitioned to vlogging, and we can talk about that transition later. But what was the 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 source that prompted you to start this journey? Sure. So let's start in May 2017. Okay. That was the end of my. first year 
So I was like, I watched a lot of reaction videos, but I didn't have the confidence to co- talk in front of the camera. Huh. I was very shy. I was very introvert. And I wanted to, you know, be comfortable in front of the camera because it was my passion. In my fifth grade, I had bought a camera for photos, but I didn't have the confidence to even speak a single line in front of the camera. So to gain the confidence, I started a reaction channel with my uh, buddy, Carl, and he was my classmate in my algorithms class. So yeah, so he we started and, you know, we watched Javi Koe and inspired by him. I uh-huh. was like, hey, if, even if it is not successful, at least I'll gain the confidence to talk in front of the camera. And I did for one year reaction videos, like reacting to PK and like these trailers. And after one year, I gained the confidence. And after those one year, I learned a lot about talking and like, you know, filmmaking, editing, et cetera. And then started channel sing in USA and then started with informative videos. Like you, like you started with in- investment banking. I started with studying abroad and I uh, saw so many Facebook groups and they had so many questions in mind about coming to us and just p- pick those questions and make convert them into video ideas. And there were so many blogs already there, but I thought it's it's next generation is more more keen to watch videos because you know you feel a connect with the person mm. watching uh with your whom you're watching you feel a connection but with reading you don't feel the connection as much as watching right yeah. so that's how it happened and uh the growth was pretty slow in one year i basically got twenty thousand subscribers but one summer semester as a software engineering intern changed my life <laughs> the first video a day in life then like, it, it's i mean you may have seen it's like one of the most popular video yeah, on the yeah, channel yeah yeah, uh, and then next video also like first day as software engineer. I mean, I mean that was before that these these like three videos about me as a software engineering intern grabbing free food and people actually called it freelance <laughs> and I didn't pick up on my own. It's just like comments somehow uh, made it freelance rather than Atlanta, and that's how it happened. That's brilliant, dude. You know, speaking speaking of freelancer, as part of the very uh, very extensive due diligence that I do before I'm speaking with any any guest, uh, I saw freelancer being mentioned in your Instagram bio as well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. So yeah. I was I was wondering, like, what is freelancer? You know, maybe it's something that people in in Atlanta use right now that I wasn't quite privy to when I was in Atlanta. But now now it all makes sense. You know, now that you've explained this to me, yeah, <laughs> awesome. <laughs> You know, you 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 spoke about. Uh, in fact, I read this. Uh, you you talked about the connection, right? You talked about the fact that video content is such that you are a lot more relatable to people as opposed to written content, and that's one of the reasons why you know people stay on as well. Like the attrition is much lower. Um, in fact, I came across this this phrase earlier today when I was reading a book. I, I saw vitamin C, and vitamin C. Uh, we all know what vitamin C actually is, but this guy was basically talking about how important it is for us, you know, and for our, our mental health, for our physical health as well, to be meeting new people. And so he said, you know, there's a, another type of vitamin C called vitamin connect. So it's it's like the the, the nutrients or, or the 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 good effects of just like meeting people, socializing with people, or connecting with people. And you spoke about that connection, right? And that reminds me, vlogging is something that really connects you to your audience. It's almost as if, you know, you have given people entry into your personal life, into your room, into your study, into wherever you are. And that's one of the reasons I feel, you know, some of the most successful vloggers or some of the most successful YouTubers currently have transitioned into vlogging. And so now looking at your content, dude, I am hooked. I don't understand. Any video, I'm starting a video. I don't understand when I came out of 15 minutes. How did I get out of it? And that's probably one of the reasons why, you know, consistently, consistently on like a 600K channel, you are amassing 200K, 300K, 400K, 500K uh, views on every single one of your vlogs consistently, you know, within a, within a week of having uploaded, uploaded it. So, so tell me, look, you've got a, you've got a very sharp brain engineer. What, what, like I can't even remember how many degrees you have. So, you know, I'm not, I'm not even going to try to repeat that, but how did you transition to vlogging? What made you transition to vlogging? You spoke about the fact that you were extremely shy. And now you're shy when you, when you've turned on the camera in your room, but vlogging in public, especially in a country uh, you don't belong to, or, or as in like a country that's fairly new to you. How did that happen? How did you muster up the courage? Wo vlogging scene kaise shuruwaat hui? Vlogging scene. So to be honest, like ki bahar logo ko dekhe, I w- I used to become shy as well. Mujhe public speaking ka bhi fear tha. But hua ye ki with more and more practice by being with ex- uh, by being with people from different culture, like from US, for example, my roommate. I have never been with any roommate. 
who is an indian till now matlab abhi mera first indian roommate is arpit usse pehle there was no not a single indian roommate i ever had uh, from i have i have i've been with people from all different backgrounds usse confidence mila ki ha ye bhi hamare jaise hai inke sath bhi connection hai and i can freely talk to them as well usse uh, usse thoda sa i became extroverted and then uh, when i took out the camera mujhe bhi dar lagta tha but like with more and more videos 10 bar fail hunga par 20th bar matlab 20th time i'll ex- actually succeed so that's what happened Uh-huh. That's a that's a solid uh-huh. mentality, dude. And I'm guessing going forward, uh-huh. you probably uh, plan on keeping vlogs like a fairly integral part of your channel, right? Yeah, I I th- I thought like the podcast keep the limit. Uh, like after one point, it it gets like yeah. I'm up up up. Which topic will I podcast? I'll make. I mean, it feels like that. Yeah, one point will come that I'll be running out of topics. But vlogs will come that if there's connection, I can keep sharing what I'm doing, and it's not the end, right? Exactly. Like exactly. your days, every day is different. Like कोई भी हो. Exactly. That's that's beautiful, dude. So how many years have you now spent in the US, Hanu? So this is the end of my fifth year, and I came in August 2016 for my first Achha. semester. Uh-huh. So you finished about uh, near end end of your fifth year, right? So I yes. I spent I spent uh, seven years in total in America. Uh, so I think the, the the next you know topic that I have in mind will make for a good conversation between the two of us. And I might be putting you on the spot, but you know, think out loud. Think out loud. Uh, what is it about India that you miss? Oh, so to be honest, uh, I used to miss family a lot, but I I think. it's privilege or it's my luck that they are here that like my grandmother is here and the next thing grandmother is like me, nani right my vlogs me dekha yes, nani. nani ko ah, there you go there you go <laughs> yeah and uh next thing that i miss the most is my city amritsar like every day is different and unique in amritsar you whether i go to canada i can get the same punjabi food so food is something you don't really miss because huh. canada mein aap kabhi bhi ja sakte ho like Two three hour flight to Toronto from ah. Atlanta, and you get the same taste of food. So, that that is not a big deal. Like more than taste, I just miss the vibes. Because Amritsar, it's like so unique. It's like 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 it's bro you know i'm i'm welcoming you with open arms open invitation jab bhi calcutta aana hai aa jana theek hai you have my mm-hmm. house gaadi hai khana hai everything is taken care of okay so i'll i'll lay out the red carpet for singh in usa whenever you want to come to calcutta so open invitation and this invitation does not expire so you can take me up on my offer any time you know whether you want to do it now 5 years down the line 20 years down the line 40 years down the line any time oh, thank you so much <laughs> it will be a pleasure and for you also like atlanta will love to have you back as well whenever you want to come 100% <laughs> dude you know old old stomping grounds as they say to kabhi na kabhi to aunga like since ever since uh. i came back to india july 2018 mein tab se main fir se us gaya nahi hu you know har saal plan banate rehta hu only because my sister still in the us so my sister is currently in florida she was in new york for a couple of years but she recently moved to florida because uska kaam remote ho gaya so she thought you know she can move to like a, a calmer place some a, a place that's slightly cheaper compared to you know how much she was paying in in new york city uh, so she keeps you know calling me calling my mom calling my family saying ao 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 she ended up coming to calcutta abhi uh, jo winter break hua tha she came for a solid two months but maybe next time you know next time jab bhi family reunion ho raha hai i i end up going to the us and as part of that uh, that trip i'll make sure that i end up coming to atlanta also and coming to visit you sure yes and i'll have the red carpet ready for you as well <laughs> the <family. laughs> brilliant bro but you know similar answer i feel very similarly uh, you talked about the fact that you're you're lucky that your family is there but you talked about the 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 feel or the vibe jo india ki hoti hai that you were used to you know given the fact that you were born and brought up in india you spent so many years in in amritsar before moving state side it's a similar feel for me as well now july 2018 may i still remember when i was heading back when i was heading back to india you know a part of me was looking forward to going back of course there was a part of me that was sad but a part of me was like you know what it's going to be it's going to be fun like going back permanently to india after 7 years because a couple of things a couple of things and you know this can be a discussion for a different day but one i never quite and maybe this is natural you know so i'm not stating something that's extraordinary i never felt a, a sense of belonging in america you know wo jo bhai chara hota hai wo jo that feeling that you have that feeling that okay i belong ye meri dharti hai 
that never happened you know despite having spent 7 years in america and maybe you know who knows even if i had spent maybe 10 years 15 years 20 years it wouldn't have been the same feeling that you typically get when you're with your people with your people in india with due respect to americans they were very nice to me very kind to me but joby that that same sense of belonging wasn't quite there when um, when i was in america plus the other thing is you know i'm i'm someone who's very needy someone who's very insecure someone who needs a lot of love care and attention aur jo india mein india mein wo jo love care and attention milta hai from family members from your brothers and sisters from fellow indians that wasn't quite the same in uh, in america or at least not the the same magnitude you know or it wasn't as pure maybe and so that's one of the reasons why again you know i was uh, looking forward to coming back as opposed to being very reluctant to go back to india yeah that's a very good point i feel the same as well whether whether it's your like for some people whether it's your own cousins or old uncle and aunt or it's your own like same friends who are maybe americans you don't feel the same vibe as compared to in india they love you the most here as well uh-huh. but like jo feeling india mein aati hai like it's like it feels like more selfless love to you mm-hmm. and yahan pe mm-hmm. uh, like uh not not to say about friends ek tarah se matlab jaise aap new york mein chale jao like people no matter how much good vibes they giving to you <laughs> at the same time they're selfish as well <laughs> andar hi andar pata hota hai <laughs> so <laughs> wo feeling bar bar aa jati hai and lagta hai ki ha yaar india mein kitne selfless log the like you <laughs> feel that for granted when you come here so i i totally accept that point the wo cheez like you know no one can replace that uh, now now we'll completely agree you know you summed it up very beautifully now the question is going to be i'm going to take a complete uh, 180 degree or 360 degree jo bhi a complete u turn theek hai so what do you what do you not miss about india or instead of you know phrasing it that way conversely i can say what is it about america that you love a lot that you probably wouldn't be able to experience if you were in india this huh. is like a tricky question huh. so uh so two ways america has changed me number one being self reliant तो इंडिया में लाइक यू नो इफ आई वाज इन इंडियन कॉलेज आई वुड हैव बीन गोइंग बैक एंड फोर्थ टू मीट माय पेरेंट्स एवरी टू टू थ्री मंथ्स तो वो कंप्लीटली डिफरेंट वाइब्स होती एंड अभी ऐसा है कि जो है यहीं पे आई हैव टू स्टे हियर फॉर वन ईयर तो जो सोचना है खुद यहीं पे सोचना है इफ आई वांट टू लाइक यू नो थिंक अबाउट बाइंग अ कार मेरे पास कोई और बंदा है ही नहीं जिससे मैं बात <laughs> बात कर पाऊँ कि हाँ मतलब पेरेंट्स खुद ही कह देते चलो तो मुझसे ले लें राइट right? यहाँ पे मेरे पास कोई नहीं है लाइक यू कैन से दैट कि हाँ टेन परसेंट ट्वेंटी परसेंट मुझसे ले लें यहाँ पे जो हूँ मैं हूँ एंड लाइक आई फील लाइक कि हाँ मुझे खुद अपने फाइनेंशियल चाहे लाइक कुकिंग लाइक अपना खुद एवरी डे हैव टू मैनेज ऑन माई ओन सेल्फ डिपेंडेंट एंड अदर देन दैट जो चीज इंडिया में नहीं मिल सकती थी मुझे दैट uh, इज बहुत लोग सोचते हैं इट्स पैकेज फॉर सॉफ्टवेयर इंजीनियरिंग बट दैट्स नॉट ट्रू क्योंकि मैंने कई लोग देखे हैं जो नेटफ्लिक्स वगैरह टॉप कंपनीज में काम करते हैं विद स्टॉक और विद नेगोशिएशन दे आर एबल टू मेक द सेम अमाउंट ऑफ मनी एज यूएस एज वेल सो आई थिंक दैट विल बी द ओनली थिंग लाइक बींग सेल्फ रिलायंट Beautiful, bro. And you know, speaking of self reliance, look, you're you're much younger than I am. How old are you right now, Hanu? Twenty five. Twenty three. Twenty three. Oh my God, bro. You're a you should oh, shit. I feel like an uncle right now. मुझे लग रहा था यू नो दो साल का डिफरेंस है कुछ ट्वेंटी थ्री अनुर अनुर मूड ऑफ कर दिया यार ट्वेंटी एट इयर्स ओल्ड नहीं नहीं एज इज़ जस्ट नंबर आई विल बी ऑनेस्ट आपका जो सेंस ऑफ ह्यूमर है यू आर स्टिल एटीन फ्रॉम दैट पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू लाइक यू नो एक कनेक्शन आ जाता है टीनेज के लिए आपसे बात करके सो यू जस्ट एटीन फॉरगेट अबाउट ट्वेंटी की यार चाइल्ड की याद आ रही है आई एम ग्रोइंग ओल्ड देखो दाढ़ी व्हाइट बाल व्हाइट बाल निकल जा रहे हैं सो मे बी यू नो आई एम डेस्परेटली ट्राइंग टू क्लिंग ऑन टू द the the child in me but it's but it's a good thing you know robert green i'm not sure if you've heard of this author he's uh, he writes a lot about human emotions human nature uh, uh, check out a couple of his books 48 laws of power that's a solid book by him then um, there's laws of human nature another best seller but he talks about this you know if you can actually what happens is often times when we as we keep growing older and older and older like 23 24 25 especially after we graduate college often times we almost force ourselves to lose that childhood spirit in us or maybe because of societal pressures because you're supposed to conform or act in a certain sophisticated sort of manner you know in public settings or in your office uh, often times we stultify or we repress the child in us and a lot of people you know later on in life maybe in the the late 20s the early 30s because maybe they just find themselves in a better head space they start reconnecting that child in them In, in, inside them again and so i honestly feel over the last one and a half years or so ever since you know the lockdown started with due respect to people you know who faced harsher consequences during the lockdown but one of the ways in which the lockdown was actually more of a boon than a curse for me personally was that it allowed me to spend time with myself 
and that led to enhanced self awareness and i just felt that you know what there's this child inside me that i've been trying to trying to tame or control or trying to stultify but i was like why are why do you have to do it fine you might be 28 but just be yourself and so i know this sounds very cliche but just reminding myself that anubhav express yourself just express yourself that's done wonders and so going back going back to what you mentioned at the the start of the conversation ki aapka humor kaise aaya you know america mein aaya idhar aaya i honestly feel a lot of people have that have that potential inside of them you know to to be a to be a good communicator to be humorous it's not that you know they they've read books on how to become humorous maybe that's one of the ways but a lot of people have that potential but once you start expressing yourself that's when you know that that humor that humor can be seen by others as well and others are like oh wow anubhav itna funny kaise ban gaya or harnoor itna funny kaise ban gaya harnoor always and has become so confident he was an introvert so i think express yourself it sounds very cliche a lot of sports people you know use this term as well i just want to go out and express myself on the field but i think that's a cliche that's done wonders for me os hisab se ha wow that that's an amazing point mere khayal se bhi jaise fitness ka mere uh, mere khayal se i was able to take care of fitness only because i was like you know uh, covid karan ghar mein tha kuch soch nahi pa raha tha then i realized oh meri body inside se kitni weak hai so like i couldn't like push myself <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, a, a, a core cheese. You know something that I feel is is very, very. This has like America written all over it. You know, this is one aspect that I miss dearly. I want to get your thoughts as well. So you know, America me, this small talk wala bahut culture hai. You can literally start a conversation with or strike a conversation with anyone. You know, could be the the janitor, could be the 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 cleaner, could be the receptionist, could be literally anyone. So that's one aspect of America that I miss a lot. Only because you know, if you can't tell, I'm a conversation junkie. I get a high from conversations. Is is that is that one of the ways you would say you've become more confident as a as a speaker? You become more confident as a public speaker. You you've just become more confident in terms of like your communication skills. You know, given the fact that America has that small talk culture and you can't really wiggle out of it. You know, like random. people might just like wish you good morning or you have to say hi hello you know make small talk with like random people jo india mein itna hota nahi hai i i think like i have also lived in village in india so small okay. tech wala culture wahan pe bhi hota okay. hai wahan pe okay. like villages in india like aap aapka neighbor kabhi bhi aapke ghar aa sakta hai so wo vibes jo na pehle mein thi pehle se thi par main us mein aaya i wasn't sure that that small talk not small talk but like a conversation with a neighbor or anyone is there or not but slowly uh. and gradually i realized it is there uh. you see anyone in the elevator you see anyone crossing by you can say hi and they smile at you and it feels great first time mujhe bhi yaad hai girl smile at me and i was like <laughs> oh wow <laughs> <laughs> so like like i was i was like whole day was uh, amazing like that 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 was one of the best <laughs> you're you're blushing life. right now you're blushing right now so if you're blushing right now i can't imagine how much how much you must have been blushing jab actually encounter hua tha ye <laughs> <laughs> yeah so that was that was like actually amazing feeling and from that i realized ki ha i can talk to anyone and usse mujhe pata chala ki there's so much content for youtube related to vlogging like aap kitne logo culture like you know you can easily talk to them and show in the in the vlog and show a different perspective yeah 100% dude 100% and you you're totally you're totally doing that as well uh-huh. the other thing the other thing that i have on my list uh, that i wanted to uh, to get your two cents on your opinion on something something that i personally miss uh, about america a lot uh, and main ye nahi bologa ki in india mein it's a very drastically different culture i think mindset logo ko kafi badal raha hai which is a good thing and you know changing in a changing in a good way as opposed to in a in a negative way but america mein you know uh, i i spoke about the fact that you could walk up and have a conversation with anyone i think in america you know instead of actually giving too much importance to what the title of the person is whether ye banda ceo hai ya md hai you know every single person is first treated as a human before actually looking at what the the title or the credentials are for the most part of course the exceptions as well you know for the most part and would love to get your views as well especially if you have differing views so uh so you know you would treat you would treat a, a, a would you respect to them you would treat a a janitor a sweeper uh with the same respect right that you would treat maybe a ceo or you know some some uh, white collar person so so us hisab se india mein i feel uh, again might be generalizing the exceptions as well and the good exceptions also india mein often times your respect for someone is largely determined by how sophisticated that person's job is in society or how useful that person is 
in society you know so the blue collar workers don't end up getting as much respect as, as much bhav as much patta compared to maybe someone who's like you know some some hot shot some white collar hot shot but in america i think the the human aspect for the most part comes bill the human being aspect comes before what the 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 title of the person is is on paper you know so so that's an aspect that i miss but would love to get your thoughts yes i totally totally agree on that aapko choti si example start karta hu let's say jab hum school mein hote hain hum ek bande ko iit tag और नॉन आई डी टैक्सेस पहले ही जज करना शुरू कर देते हैं वी फील लाइक यू नो वी आर लोअर वर्जन ऑफ आवर सेल्स इफ यू सी ओह दैट्स एन आई आई टी टैग गाय तो खुद से एक यू नो लाइक इनसिक्योरिटी फील होने लग जाती है लाइक सो दैट्स दैट दैट्स वेर इट स्टार्ट्स लाइक एक एम्स डॉक्टर है एक नॉन एम्स डॉक्टर है सो इट्स इट स्टार्ट फ्रॉम देयर एंड मूविंग ऑन अगर कोई एम आई टी टैग हो यूएस में अगर आप कंपेयर करो लाइक इट डजन ही मैटर आई कैन गिव यू एंड एज कम्पेयर एंड एज कम्पेयर टू यूएस मेरे Like software engineer career, me I have had managers from MIT and Harvard. मुझे पता भी नहीं था. Like I didn't even ask, and मुझे पता भी नहीं था. After leaving the company and after like you know having a LinkedIn request from them, I was like, oh shit. I was with a, I was I was I was like being mentored by a manager who was from MIT, Harvard, and I was like, he's like a common guy. No one treats him special. Like so, these tags actually don't matter. So similarly, आप यहाँ पे janitors हर एक को equal treat करना शुरू कर देते हो, because हमारे school में ये सिखाया जाता है, ID tag, AIMS tag. हाँ, If you हाँ, forget about these tags, आप lower level पे या फिर other level पे भी आप judge करना छोड़ दोगे, like right. whether janitor or any other person. Yeah. Absolutely, bro. Absolutely. Just say you know, like like you rightly said, like no one no one is like beneath you as such. You know, वैसे level जितनी yes. इतनी steep hierarchy वैसे हाँ, होते exactly. नहीं है. Huh. Yeah, that's brilliant, bro. And and you know what is what is keeping you busy these days? Uh, job, um, of course, uh, your content as well. You're running a couple of channels, so you're you're creating content uh, uh, on a very frequent basis. So you know what does a day in the life of Harnoor Singh? What does a day in the life of Singh in USA look like right now? So I think currently I'm living life of a family man, even though I don't have a kid. <laughs> but like having parents is almost next to having. Is the is the kid on the way? No, 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 <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> yeah so like you know uh, when you have a family like indian family in us uh, or in, in your home basically wherever you are you have to take care of them so that and you have to give them time you know so that's that takes a lot of time and like giving time to girlfriend is also time consuming having having girlfriend friends and maintaining the social circle takes a lot of time so this is most time consuming and remaining is just like 9 to 5 software engineering hours and after that like losing sleep for youtube that's like that's a day in life pretty much yeah that's solid bro so so what do you i i know a lot of the activities that you do both your vocation as well as your avocation these are things that you love you know so i'm i'm not sure if this question is applicable but what do you do for for fun you know I, like i said you know a, a lot of what you do is fun you know spending time with your girlfriend or the work that you do youtube that you do it's a lot of fun for you uh, but anything else that keeps you busy like ways in which you unwind just relax suppose youtube karne ka man nahi ho raha like what what do you typically do like talk to your girlfriend talk to someone any specific activities um my favorite activity indeed other than youtube and software engineering is like watching tv i believe or working okay. out yeah. so uh and also cricket i love playing yeah. cricket yeah that that's something i miss and but on, but luckily being on georgia tech i think you get the opportunity you have a right. big cricket club at georgia tech like you can join that facebook group and find so many students playing cricket i have have like actually uh, made a video about playing cricket at georgia tech as well so that's that's my favorite and other than that uh, i have personally learned is um that if you are in the right team with right manager and if you love what you do then pretty much every every day is like you know fun right. so that's why i think every day is actually like uh like an entertainment a piece of entertainment for me so like that's why i personally like chose to work in a company where i did internship mujhe laga ki ha main har ek har ek bande ko janta hu i'm already familiar with the code base i'm already familiar with the company and mujhe roz ऐसा नहीं लग रहा कि मैं काम पे जा रहा हूँ तो यहाँ पे थोड़ी देर और इंटरमीडिएटिंग लगा मुझे you know all, all the components or most of the components that uh, that make up your day are fun components i'm hoping against all hope that this component as well this chat that we had was uh, a fun experience for you 
Yes, of course. I mean, I mean, I was I was just looking forward to talking to from a long time as well. Now, I'm going to be doing the next podcast with you on investment banking. I'm like, I was already excited from for, for it from a long time. Because some people have commented that they really, really want this podcast, and I was looking forward to it. So, yeah. Brilliant, bro. The the pleasure, the pleasure was mine. I should say, you know, I start. I I remember. I, I mentioned to you at the start of the conversation that uh, based upon you know whatever I've seen of you passively, right, watching your videos as opposed to interacting with you because the first time we're actually having like a, an actual interaction, uh, you come across as a, a warm and comforting personality. And this this chat was yet another example, yet another paragon of that. Harnoor Singh, aka Singh in USA, or Singh in USA, aka Harnoor Singh. Thank you so much uh, for. Uh, for uh, gracing my podcast with your presence uh, and definitely look forward to having many more conversations in the future as well mate yes definitely indeed thank you so much it was pleasure indeed uh, and you have an amazing uh, or you can say and you have actually a charming personality it was a pleasure talking to you i i wish i wish the females felt the same way <laughs> <laughs> likewise brilliant man thank you so much thank you What's up guys? I promise I'm not going to be taking more than 45 seconds of your time, but I think I ought to tell you that uh, I'm going to be hosting an online workshop on English speaking and communication skills on the 4th of July starting 11 a.m. IST until 2 p.m. IST. I'll be covering everything, all the techniques, all the best practices that have helped me improve my English speaking and my communication skills and how I've become a more smooth, confident and engaging speaker over the years. I'm also going to be leaving plenty of time for Q&A. Check out the link in the description for more details about the event. Trust me when I say this, but developing stellar communication skills has helped me in every single aspect of my life, and everything that I'm going to be covering in this workshop has the potential to do the same for you as well. So see you on the 4th of July. Cheers.